For the past week, I've been in a pretty heavy Pink Floyd phase, which isn't really new to me. Earlier this year, I was listening to their album Animals quite a lot. Currently, it's Dark Side of the Moon. But in the interim, I also taught myself to play Wish You Were Here on guitar. So Pink Floyd is a band that I constantly find myself returning to. And a lot of that has to do with the subject matter, and of course their lyrics, the music, and in particular, David Gilmour's guitar playing. In fact, their song Sheep is probably one of my favorite songs of all time. And a lot of that has to do with David Gilmour's playing on the outro of that song. It gives me chills every time I hear it. I can't listen to it enough. But what I love about Pink Floyd is that there's a lot of diversity to their catalog. You know, they started out in the 60s as almost a psychedelic pop band and then became really just psychedelic. And then with Dark Side of the Moon, they essentially created the concept album and yet afterwards started making music which was a lot more commercially accessible. I always find it interesting because it seems to me like it should be Dark Side of the Moon, Animals, Wish You Were Here, The Wall, because of the way there's commercial singles on Wish You Were Here as opposed to Animals. Uh, it's always very strange to me to think that they went Dark Side of the Moon, Wish You Were Here, Animals, The Wall. But I think that's one of the reasons why I like them so much, because they do the unexpected. So they're a band that just continues to intrigue me. That's one of the reasons why I just continually come back to them, is that there's always something new and different and interesting that I can find in their catalog, which reaches me on an emotional level or on a visceral level. So Pink Floyd, if you haven't listened to them, check them out. Thank <laughs> you.